Hello there YouTube and Visual Basic Fanatics. Um, today we want to have a little bit of fun with the mouse position or the cursor position and um, we're going to look at how to get the position and how to set a new position for the mouse cursor. Okay, So to start off I'm going to create a new project Windows Form Application. I'm just going to call it Test. Click OK and um, I'm just going to double click on it and in my load event I'm just going to try and get the mouse position so how do we do it? it's actually very simple we're going to go dim mp as um, a point and that equals to mouse position and that's it MP is a point which is X and Y coordinates. The mouse position updates updates this structure. As you can see, it's a structure. Um, and updates the structure with the X and the Y coordinates accordingly. So if I go me dot text equals MP dot to string, it'll then tell my form what the coordinates are of my mouse at this moment. And as you can see, it was X and Y. Okay, so that's as easy as that. So how do we update it? That's the more complicated question. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my form events, and I am going to look for the key down event. Okay, because what I want to do is every time someone presses the up or down or left or right arrow keys on the keyboard. I want my mouse to move in that direction. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop and throw this line of code in there. Remove my load event. Okay, and start from here. Okay. So now we know how to get the mouse position. Once we've got the mouse position, we need to update it and then set the new position, because obviously the mouse position must be from the current location to a new position from the current location new position current location new position okay so every time the, the key is pressed we get the mouse position to update it I'm gonna go uh, private my x as integer uh, private my y as integer so we Okay, and to get the keys, uh, to figure out which key was pressed, we're going to go for a select case. I'm going to press the tab twice. Okay, and it'll actually give us a nice select case with a variable. I'm going to right click hide the snippet highlighting, and the variable name is going to be E because we have the arguments for the key down. So it will figure out which key was pressed, okay, and to import or use that variable, we're going to go E dot, and we're going to use the key code. And the key code that came in is equal to keys dot down, okay. The next one will be keys up, keys left. and keys right okay so every time the mouse or uh, every time that someone presses the keys on the keyboard it'll then figure out which key it was pressed and that key whichever which one is pressed will then fire um, the update for our X and Y coordinates okay so to go down we're gonna need to say my X or sorry my X equals the current location which is mp dot x my y equals current location mp dot y but because we want to update it y is going to add one pixel okay to go up all we need to do is minus one pixel because the y coordinate is up and down. For the left and right, OK, 
okay left would be minus one and right would be plus one okay so now that uh, we've got this how do we update the new coordinate well what we're going to do is we're going to import um, a reference to a library and to do that I'm going to create a private declare of a function and you can now see that we have you need to name the function and the library as a library okay so the function name in our library is called set cursor pos and that's in the library which is called user32 okay we then specify we need to update by val the x coordinate as an integer and by val the y coordinate as integer and because it's a function it's as integer so all we need to say now is set position cursor position the x would be my x and the y would be my y let's give it a run I press up and it goes up press down it goes down go left it goes left press right it goes right very very cool okay um, as you also can see it's not confined to the um, form itself it's actually any coordinates on uh, your screen so um, that's quite handy okay so I hope this helps it was a very very quick tutorial and um, if you have any questions you can post them you can subscribe if you want to um, ask, ask me any questions other than this and um, I'll just speak to you guys later. Cheers.